As the country remembers John F. Kennedy 50 years after his assassination today, you're going to hear from a former deputy who protected the president in Tampa, why he says his assassination could have happened here. 50 years ago today was one of the defining moments of a generation. President John F. Kennedy was assassinated in Dallas, but four days before that terrible moment, the mood was joy and excitement as the president visited Tampa. 10 News reporter Grayson Com takes us back to that day and the eerie connections between those two presidential trips. You could feel the energy off that crowd. It was it was uh, unimaginable. Daryl May can still reach right back to that day 50 years ago. He was Deputy May of the Pinellas County Sheriff's Office, assigned to be the barrier between a jubilant crowd and the president they adored. The only way I can I could describe it is if you're standing in front of a herd of buffalo charging you, and thank God there was a fence there. The people of Tampa poured into the streets as the first sitting president to come to the city crisscrossed Tampa on a 20-mile motorcade tour. There was an aura about the man. You could feel that. He was, he was a superstar. It was four days before his death in Dallas, but stories persist that a dark current was already moving beneath that wave of joy in Tampa. There are a ton of conspiracy theories, at least a couple, involve organized crime in Tampa. Rodney Kuykpal is curator of history at the Tampa Bay History Center. The organized crime was rampant in Tampa. There were certain families that just ran things. With help from his brother Robert, President Kennedy cracked down on the mafia across America, including in Tampa. And JFK's move to block all trade with Cuba hurt the Tampa mob's revenue stream. Particularly Santo Traficante, who was the big name in the, the Tampa organized crime scene, owned casinos down in Cuba. One story goes that a shooter was supposedly stationed here at the Florida Hotel downtown. Just like days later in Dallas, that gunman was supposed to attack the president's open air motorcade. The president left Tampa safely that afternoon. He was wounded in an automobile driving from Dallas Airport into downtown Dallas. But could the tragedy that has scarred Dallas for half a century have happened here instead? He came by in that Lincoln and he was reaching over our heads to touch people in the crowd. He reached across me and I could smell the cigar smoke off his jacket. That's how close I was to him. And our, our wrists were locked like this. I'm left handed, I got a gun on my hip. If someone would have gotten that gun, there was no way that I could have gotten loose. And it dawned on me then how it wasn't thought out. The, the whole security thing uh, detail was not thought out the way I would have expected it to be. People often say after that awful day in Dallas, America's innocence was gone. The people of Tampa got the final taste. In Tampa, Grayson Com, 10 News.